The Dust Bowl was a period of severe dust storms that greatly damaged the ecology and agriculture of the American and Canadian prairies during the 1930s. The phenomenon was caused by a combination of both natural factors, severe drought, and man-made factors, a failure to apply dryland farming methods to prevent wind erosion, most notably the destruction of the natural topsoil by settlers in the region. The drought came in three waves, 1934, 1936, and 1939 to 1940, but some regions of the High Plains experienced drought conditions for as many as eight years. The Dust Bowl has been the subject of many cultural works, notably the novel The Grapes of Wrath, 1939, by John Steinbeck, the folk music of Woody Guthrie, and photographs depicting the conditions of migrants by Dorothea Lange, particularly the migrant mother, taken in 1936. While the term, the Dust Bowl, was originally a reference to the geographical area affected by the dust, today it usually refers to the event itself. The term, Dirty Thirties, is also sometimes used. The drought and erosion of the Dust Bowl affected 100 million acres 400,000 square kilometers that centered on the Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma Panhandle and touched adjacent sections of New Mexico, Colorado, and Kansas. The Dust Bowl forced tens of thousands of poverty-stricken families, who were unable to pay mortgages or grow crops, to abandon their farms, and losses reached $25 million per day by 1936. Many of these families, who were often known as, Okies, because so many of them came from Oklahoma, migrated to California and other states to find that the Great Depression had rendered economic conditions there little better than those they had left. Between 1930 and 1940, approximately 3.5 million people moved out of the Plains states. In just over a year, over 86,000 people migrated to California. This number is more than the number of migrants to that area during the 1849 gold rush. Migrants abandoned farms in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Texas, Colorado, and New Mexico, but were often generally referred to as Okies, Arkies, or Texies. Terms such as Okies and Arkies came to be known in the 1930s as the standard terms for those who had lost everything and were struggling the most during the Great Depression. Much of the farmland was eroded in the aftermath of the Dust Bowl. In 1941, a Kansas agricultural experiment station released a bulletin that suggested re-establishing native grasses by the hay method. Developed in 1937 to speed up the process and increase returns from pasture, the hay method was originally supposed to occur in Kansas naturally over 25 to 40 years. The greatly expanded participation of government in land management and soil conservation was an important outcome from the disaster. Different groups took many different approaches to responding to the disaster. To identify areas that needed attention, groups such as the Soil Conservation Service generated detailed soil maps and took photos of the land from the sky. To create shelter belts to reduce soil erosion, groups such as the United States Forestry Service's Prairie States Forestry Project planted trees on private lands. Finally, groups like the Resettlement Administration, which later became the Farm Security Administration, encouraged small farm owners to resettle on other lands, if they lived in drier parts of the plains. The President's Drought Committee issued a report in 1935 covering the government's assistance to agriculture during 1934 through mid-1935. It discussed conditions, measures of relief, organization, finances, operations, and results of the government's assistance. Numerous exhibits are included in this report.